Hi, so I recently benchmarked the G-Skill 64 Micro SD and I wanted to compare it to two other brand names. So I have here the Samsung, the G-Skill, and the SanDisk. And what you see here, this is the Samsung Evo 64 gigabyte, the G-Skill 64 gigabyte, and the SanDisk 64 gigabyte, and this is the SanDisk Ultra. And um, so here you see is the G-Skill. And notice the G-Skill actually has the best performance out of all of them as far as sequential reads. So it has 33, gigab uh, 33 megabytes per second read speed uh, compared to the Samsung Evo, which is, which is 29, and the SanDisk Ultra, which is 29. So um, that's fairly significant. But if you notice, the, writes, the write speed is even a lot more significant than that. Um, so the usually the top brand name that people think about is the SanDisk Ultra and you'll notice with the write speed it's only 10 megabytes per second whereas the G Skill is 20 megabytes and the Samsung Evo is 17 megabytes and if I look at the different file system formatting that I've done um, it, re it retains its speed uh, even when I format it in a different file system so you notice it's 2918 here and this is uh, 22.9, which is nearly half the write speed of of the uh, G Skill, and the Samsung is a lot more comparable in write speed. Um, but there is a difference here with the smaller files. So if it's reading and writing smaller files like 4K files, you'll you'll notice the Samsung Ultra is actually a lot faster. Um, well, not a lot faster, but almost 33% faster. And the Samsung Evo is actually uh, consistently faster uh, among the three in the small files. Um, and also, same with the FAT32. So you'll notice the write speed is about twice as fast for the 4K. And. Um, for the write speed for the 4K and XFAT, it's actually faster than the micro SD. So you notice the, the Evo actually has the more well balanced out of all three as far as the different type of uh, large files, medium files, and small files. Uh, but if you're doing this for videos, lots of times, uh, even with small, e even with um, higher resolution pictures today they will go up above you know a one megabyte or two megabytes so uh, they're gonna be bigger files than uh, 54k they'll be in the megabyte range so uh, I think for videos and even for a lot of bigger uh, picture files that the for for the price the G skill is actually pretty decent even though we consider the G skill uh, sort of like a second class brand um, and if you check out the prices all of these all of these uh, SD cards you could probably get for uh, $18 these days if you wait for a sale whether it's Samsung G skill or SanDisk um, but I, I would normally I, I would just stick to these three brands I mean there there are other brands like a data and transcend but um, you know G skill I would say if if there is a second tier brand um, it's it's on top it's it's one of the top second tier brands if that makes any sense so um, but in any case uh, even though at this point it's thirty five dollars the even the SanDisk Ultra you get for twenty dollars for sixty four gigabyte uh, as far as the warranty the Samsung Evo has a ten year warranty this has a lifetime warranty the G Skill and the SanDisk Ultra has a 10 year warranty also um, but it really doesn't matter be because 10 years from now you, you probably won't own or have this anyway uh, because it, it's probably a, a very low capacity in comparison to what, what you'll find uh, you know 10 years later so so a 10 year warranty is uh, just as good as a lifetime warranty in my opinion so uh, but that's really all I wanted to mention and uh, you know, hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.